Interim Chancellor Morrison Shetler, the graduating students have now assembled for the 2018 fall commencement exercises for the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Education and Allied Professions, and the David Orr Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts.
Please remain standing as we each pause for a moment of silent reflection on the special meaning of this day. Thank you. Please join in singing the national anthem led by Jessica McIntyre, sophomore in the Bachelor of Music Education program in the School of Music. You may be seated. Graduates and distinguished guests, it is a pleasure and an honor to welcome each of you to the 2018 Fall Commencement Ceremony for students in the Colleges of Arts and Science, Education and Allied Professions, and the David R. Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts at Western Carolina University. Please allow me to recognize members of, this, uh, of the platform party who do not have speaking roles in the commencement program. I ask them to stand and remain standing as I call their names. Please hold your applause until I have introduced them all. First, members of Western Carolina University's Board of Trustees. Mr. Casey Cooper. Mr. Tim Haskett, Mrs. Hayden Bullock, Mr. Kenny Messer, Mr. John Lapoli. For WCU Administrative Staff, Dr. Sam Miller, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Dr. Holly Moss, Interim Dean of the College of Business, Dr. Jeffrey Ray, Dean of the College of Engineering and Technology, Dr. Doug Keskela, Dean of the College of Health and Human Sciences, Dr. Verzani Rizaghi, Dean of Hunter Library. Representing all faculty, Dr. Damon Sink, Faculty Senate Chair. Representing all staff, Ms. Natalie Broom, Staff Senate Chair. Assisting with the distribution of diplomas today is Dr. Lowe Davis, Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Success. Mr. Larry Hammer, Registrar. Ms. April Hicks, Conferral Specialist. Please join me in recognizing these institutional leaders. <laughs> Mr. Brian Kinney, Vice Chair of the Western Carolina University Board of Trustees, will now bring greetings from the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Chancellor. Good morning. It's good to be home. Make sure you come back a lot. <laughs> to today's graduates, their families, to our alumni, to Interim Chancellor Morris and Shetler, and to this university's distinguished faculty and staff and members of the platform party. It's my great pleasure to bring you greetings and congratulations and well wishes from University of North Carolina President Margaret Spellings, the University of North Carolina Board of Governors, 
and all of the members of Western Carolina University's Board of Trustees. Graduates, more than 900 of you are receiving diplomas on this glorious day. It's a time to celebrate an ending, the completion of your degree. It's a time to celebrate just a wee bit of hard work that you've put in over these past few years. But it's also a time to celebrate a beginning, the commencing of a new chapter, a new chapter of your life. Western Carolina University has helped shape your personal journey. The experiences learned during your time here will resonate throughout your life. No matter where your life takes you, I know that you will find this institution has prepared you well for what lies ahead, just as it prepared me some 30-some-odd <clears throat> years ago. <laughs> just as each of you has much to celebrate, so too is this great university. Let me just cover just a few facts. Western was recently ranked one of the top public regional universities in the South by U.S. News and World Report. It was named a Best College Value by Kiplinger's Magazine for 2018. And you, WCU students, have once again placed in the top 10 nationally in terms of the number of student projects accepted for presentation at the prestigious National Council on Undergraduate Research. That's great work by you. <laughs> Our 17 UNC system campuses are ranked as among the best in the country, and in fact, I would say in the world. You'll receive the benefit of that reputation as you go into the workforce or continue your education. North Carolina is a state that makes investments in its future through the support of the university system and the support of each of you. I could go on extolling the exciting news about Western Carolina University and the incredible value of your degree. However, I think some of you may have a few other exciting things that you want to do today, beginning with walking across this stage. Your experience here has made you well aware. Western Carolina is a very special place, and now you're an important part of this institution's long history. Make a pledge today to remember and give back to your alma mater. Your experience here will resonate and make a difference throughout your life. I want to encourage you to also do one more thing on this special occasion. Take time to acknowledge and say two words. Thank you. Thank you to your parents, to your family, your friends, your faculty, and the staff of this institution that has nourished you. No doubt there were a few tough days when they made all the difference. We are very proud of you. Everyone across this state is proud of you. You have proven that you have what it takes to make a success of anything you set out to achieve. Set your course. Build on what you've learned here and then go make a difference in all of our world. Congratulations, graduates. Now go make us proud. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kinney. We certainly appreciate your words of congratulations to our students, as well as your years of dedicated service to Western Carolina University. It is now my great pleasure to recognize Dr. Carol Burton, Acting Provost, who will introduce our commencement speaker. I'm not sure who that was, but thank you. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't for me. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Each year, a graduating WCU student is selected to deliver remarks to our graduating class and guests. We invite submissions from all of our graduating students and a committee of faculty and staff from across campus review those submissions. Without fail, the committee receives entries from remarkable students in all of our colleges, and they are faced with the difficult task of selecting a speaker. 
I would like to thank the commencement speaker committee of 2018 for its hard work in choosing a dynamic, energetic, and dedicated student speaker for this fall's morning commencement ceremony. The young man selected is from the College of Arts and Sciences, majoring in criminal justice. He has truly made the most of his time here in Cullowhee, staying actively involved in campus clubs and organizations while focusing on his studies. The Western Carolina community is proud to congratulate him on his many achievements and all those we know that await him in the future. Before I yield the microphone, I would like to present our speaker, James Driver Blythe, with this plaque on behalf of WCU and the Academic Affairs D Division, commemorating your selection as the fall 2018 commencement speaker. Graduating Catamounts, faculty, staff, and esteemed family and friends, please join me in welcoming Mr. Blythe to the podium. First off, I would like to give a shout out to two of my fellow friends that have been with me for the past six years, Dylan Rose and Tyler Wyke. <laughs> Boys, I know they thought we couldn't do it and that we wouldn't amount to anything, but here we are. Shio, Dile Ige, Dogwado. Hello, my name is Driver Blythe, and I'm an enrolled member of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, where I reside in the Birdtown community, and I am a descendant of the Deer Clan. I am a graduating senior and will be receiving a Bachelor's of Science in Criminal Justice today. So let me say that again slowly and fully grasp what I am saying. We are all graduating today and will be receiving a bachelor's or master's today. <laughs> let me explain what this day means to me and what it maybe means for you. In the later part of my high school years, I didn't have much strive for academic success and I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I was meeting with a school administrator at my first high school and I talked to him and he said, what makes you think you're going to amount to anything anywhere else? And these sharp words have stuck with me through the later part of high school and through my college career. These are words I will never forget and have carried with me until this moment. I know some of us have been told before that we would never amount to anything or that we didn't have the belief from others in us. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we have proved them wrong. After high school, I had plans to go into the military just like my brother before me and my grandfather before me. My plan was quickly altered upon a sports injury my senior year while I was playing soccer in high school. Dylan remembers. <laughs> it was after this event that I decided to focus on my academics. When I started out in college, I was not showing well in academics. My freshman year was not showing for me and I was doubting myself. And whenever I was at Mars Hill University where I did my whole freshman year, it felt like a cookie cutter scene where I couldn't get involved with the campus. And I felt like that I had nowhere to really showcase what I had to offer. College has shown to open more doorways and opportunities than diving straight into the workforce where I'm from. So it was at that time that I decided to transfer to Southwestern Community College, just down the road, and started in the criminal justice program during the fall 2014 semester. After a poor showing at my previous college, I decided it was time to buckle down and improve my academic performance. I managed to attain a rather high GPA and the doors for furthering my education were now more open than I was in high school. As a student here, I am sharing with you in the beginning in 2013 that I was denied admission to WCU. But now I am standing here today, not just graduating from WCU, but as the commencement speaker for my graduating class. When I first started at WCU, I felt a more welcoming environment than my first university. I had the honor of being in an upper level class with a man that many have come to know as one of the hardest professors, Dr. John Whitmire. Talk about a wicked head check. I went on to have classes with phenomenal professors and meet some of the great faculty members that make up WCU, just like the late Chancellor Belcher. 
The university has enabled me to travel to the CARE Conference in D.C. to speak on behalf of WCU. I have been able to become the Vice President of the Native American Student Body and speak on behalf of the Indigenous students for the university. I have had the opportunity to travel to the Fiji Islands and travel to New Zealand. And I have had the opportunity to speak at the Intercultural Affairs Commencement Ceremony of Spring 2018. I am deeply honored to have met such phenomenal people and would like to give thanks to everyone who has helped me along my college journey. Now going into this, I would like to speak about two numbers. I would like to talk about the number 10. The number 10 represents the percentage of Native Americans that graduate from college in the United States. This is less than half of the national graduation rate of 20%. So what does this mean? That means for every 100 Native students, only 10 graduate with a four-year degree. The next number I want to review is the number five. With a little over 5% of enrolled members within my tribe, the EBCI, we will, retain, we will obtain a bachelor's degree. That is 5% out of 15,000 members at the time this data was collected. These numbers are extremely important to me are in a constant reminder that I must strive to succeed so that this number increases on behalf of all Native American students across the U.S., but also to directly impact our young people within my community. WCU has welcomed me and numerous other enrolled members with open arms from day one. With caring faculty members and staff, they have played a pivotal role in my success here at WCU. The university is also embracing my tribe's history and future on the sacred homelands of my people. I can't explain to you how great it has been to see the symbols of my traditions and culture spread throughout campus. This degree will prove to many that it can be done. My peers need to know that we can succeed and become the future that we desire to be. Maybe some of you have had similar experiences, and perhaps you have come from marginalized identities or have in endured intimidating obstacles in pursuit of your degree. For myself, the education piece is a much needed factor for all Native people for a couple of reasons. It is important that Native students are able to fill these jobs for the future. It has been a driving factor for me to help with issues regarding our young people that are in the troubled stages of drugs and criminal behavior. My hopes for the world starting out would be to make a difference in the community and look for a turnaround in regards to the problems plaguing not only my tribe, but this entire country. So in conclusion, I hope that I have left a message of hope and realization that it is our time to make a difference and that this is the beginning of something for all of us. We have made it through numerous classes, endless hours of studying, hundreds of credits, dozens of papers, endless lectures, and hard stop and fire alarm drills at the dead of night. <laughs> we are now ready to continue on into our future, and for some of this is Hull's graduate school, military, or a straight pathway into the workforce. WCU has become a second home to all of us, and we are always going to remember this day as the day where we have officially paid our dues, and now our greatest reward here. Our greatest reward is here. WCU has taught me everything but how to tie a proper tie. Thank you for having me as your speaker, and thank you for your time. It has been an honor speaking in front of you, the administration, your family, and your friends. But in Cherokee, we do not say goodbye. We believe in what is saying that they the dog will haunt you, which is until we meet again. Thank you, and God bless. Go Catamounts. Thank you, driver, for your thoughtful remarks. It is always a joy to hear our student speakers. I would now like to ask Acting Provost Burton to begin today's presentation of candidates for degrees. Interim Chancellor Morrison Shetler, I now call upon the deans of the colleges to present to you the candidates for degrees within their respective colleges. Dr. Brian Kleppel, Dean of the Graduate School. I ask all candidates for graduate degrees to please stand and remain standing. Stand up, <laughs> Interim Chancellor Morrison Shetler, the Graduate School is pleased and proud to present the candidates for the following degrees. Master of Arts, Master of Arts in Education, Master of Arts in Teaching, 
Master of Public Affairs, Master of Science, and Specialist in School Psychology. Dr. Jill Granger, Dean of the Honors College. I ask all candidates for degrees who are members of the Honors College to please stand and remain standing. Chancellor Morrison Shetler, the Honors College is pleased and proud to present candidates who will graduate with full honors. Candidates who are graduating with full honors are distinguished by the honors medallion. Dr. Richard Starnes, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. I ask all candidates for degrees from the College of Arts and Sciences to please stand and remain standing. Interim Chancellor Morrison Shetler. The College of Arts and Sciences is proud to present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Dr. Kim Winter, Dean of the College of Education and Allied Professions. I ask all candidates for degrees from the College of Education and Allied Professions to please stand and remain standing. Acting Chancellor Morrison Scheller, the College of Education and Allied Professions, is so proud to present the candidates for Bachelor of Science degree and Bachelor of Science in Education degree. Mr. George Brown, Dean of the David or Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts. Will the creative class, the artists, scholars, and teachers, and the first class to graduate from the David or Belcher College of Fine and Performing Arts please rise and remain standing. Chancellor Morrison Shetler, the Belcher College is honored to present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree, the Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, the Bachelor of Music degree, and the Bachelor of Science degree. Interim Chancellor Morrison Shetler, all candidates for degrees are hereby presented. Thank you, Dr. Burton. I now ask all faculty to stand and remain standing in support of these graduates and as confirmation of their meeting of the rigorous standards set forth by the university. I now ask all Western Carolina University alumni present today on the platform and in the audience to stand and remain standing as witness to the conferral of these degrees and the acceptance of these students into the ranks of the loyal alumni. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, by the authority vested in me by the University of North Carolina Board of Governors and the Western Carolina University Board of Trustees, and upon their completion of all degree requirements, I confer upon these candidates the degrees for which they have been recommended with all the rights, honors, responsibilities appertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating our newest graduates. You may be seated. <laughs> Graduates, each of you have worked diligently and passionately, tirelessly, earning the distinct privilege to be seated before us today. You have believed in your dreams. You have set sights on your goals. You have completed all the difficult and necessary tasks to reach this day a day that represents one of the most significant milestones in your lifetime, a milestone that creates a future of unlimited possibilities. It is your hard work and perseverance that is the main reason you are here today. The culmination of many long nights researching in the library, hundreds of hours of study and homework, many months in classes and experiential internships, hundreds of hours collaborating with classmates, 
numerous evenings attending special events on our campus, and the list goes on and on. You hung in there, no matter how tough it got, working with your tutors and advisors, meeting with your professors and staff. You have worked so hard to make this day, and now you are here. As citizens of the world, we face many challenges and many opportunities. Excellent health care for a changing population, innovation in an age of automation and robotics, development of sustainable earth-friendly energies, access to affordable and high-quality education, construction and design of energy-efficient homes and buildings, and supporting a burgeoning hospitality and tourism industry, and the continual discovery in how to maintain the beauty and biodiversity of places like Western North Carolina. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Graduates, it is now up to you to create the world in which we wish to live. It is your freshly born ideas that will create, create sustainable environments. It is your vision of the future that will eliminate poverty and hunger. And it is your ability to take your educational experience and apply it to create international innovation and collaboration. And most importantly, it is your ability to believe in peace, justice, and equality that will make that a reality for all. Graduate, the future is yours, and the world is counting on you. We live in exciting times, a time where employment opportunities offer unique and fulfilling experiences. Many of you have already secured interviews or job offers, have plans to attend graduate school, or have come back to school recently to complete a degree that you may have begun many years ago. Today I want to share a few stories just to give you a sense of how well WCU has prepared our graduates for the future and the sacrifices you have made to reach this goal. Ms. Charlie Warsham is among our graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences today, receiving a master's degree in English with a concentration in professional writing. She is a first generation student from Robbinsville, North Carolina. Charlie first came to WCU as an undergraduate student in 2003, unsure of which major was the right choice. After a few switches and a transfer to UNC Wilmington, Charlie opted to go to cosmetology school instead, successfully completing an associate's degree and working in the industry in Asheville. After several years, Charlie was inspired by a client who had returned to college as an adult. So she applied again to WCU. Charlie was accepted and completed a Bachelor of Arts degree in English in December 2016. Upon completing her undergraduate studies, Charlie wasted no time and immediately entered WCU's Master of Arts in English program in January. During that time, Charlie not only stayed in her position as a stylist and wedding coordinator, but also took on various positions on campus. Today, we celebrate this milestone with Charlie, who, after graduating, intends to continue her work as a master stylist while she finishes writing her novel. Well done, Charlie. From the College of Education and Allied Professions, we have Mr. Seth Blanton among today's graduates from the Parks and Recreation Management Program. Growing up in the Appalachian Mountains of Western North Carolina, Seth spent a lot of time hunting and hiking and fishing. This led to his decision to do something that he really already loved. After graduating from Southwestern Community College's Outdoor Leadership Program, Seth decided to enroll in the Parks and Recreation Management Program here at Western Carolina University. Seth has spent time working as a field instructor at the School of Urban and Wilderness Survival of the Carolinas for wilderness therapy. He has had the opportunity to return to the school every summer since 2016. And during his time at Western, he has been able to work as a lead guide, climbing wall supervisor, and route setter for Base Camp Cullaway. Seth is very grateful for the kindness and compassionate nature of the faculty from the Parks and Recreation Management Program. And after graduation, Seth plans to return to the School of Urban and Wilderness Survival of the Carolinas to work towards achieving 
senior instructor. His ultimate goal is to pursue further education and become a, a professor at college level. I think you can all agree that Seth is an outstanding example of the title student we are proud to call a alumnus of Western Carolina University. Congratulations, Seth. From WCU's Finish Line program, Mr. John Brazil graduates today with a degree in interdisciplinary studies. John's story is especially poignant and all the more joyful in his ultimate success. John's father passed away unexpectedly in the spring of 2014. It was his senior year at WCU and he was devastated to say the least. So he tried to continue his education. The loss of his father left him searching for direction in life and he left Western Carolina University one semester short of graduating. John has shared with us that he regretted that day for the next five years. He decided to move to Florida for a new start and began working at a golf course. One day he received a flyer from Mr. Richard Gamble, an academic advisor who manages the Finish Line program here at WCU. This program helps students who have left the university to return to complete their degree. By receiving this flyer, John was presented with the good news that he was eligible to reapply to WCU and graduate through the Finish Line programs. John shared these thoughts. Words cannot describe how relieved and excited I was. Through the Finish Line program, along with the awesome support of Mr. Gamble, I have accomplished my goal of being a third generation graduate of Western Carolina University. Although I am 728 miles and four states away, Cullowee, North Carolina keeps calling me home. Congratulations, John. Your story is one that resonates with all of us who have experienced challenges and worked to overcome them. Congratulations for being here today. <laughs> These stories represent just a few of the graduates that are seated before us today. As I look out at the faces before me, I see passion and energy, hope and resilience, and I must say that you inspire us. We are so proud of you, our catamounts. Graduates, once upon a time, we stood before you to lead the way. Today, we stand behind you, ready to follow, and we stand beside you, ready to serve, as you lead us into the future. Congratulations. And go cats! I now ask all degree candidates to step forward to receive their diplomas. Please note that those students graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude wear the gold cord. Candidates who have served or are currently serving in the United States Armed Forces wear the red, white, and blue cords. Some graduates are wearing cords, stoles, or pins denoting their participation in or affiliation with an organization. Since each individual graduate is recognized by calling their name as they walk across the stage, we ask the entire audience to respect the graduates and their families by refraining from the use of artificial noisemakers such as air horns. We also ask that you remain seated and stay for the entire ceremony. From the Graduate School College of Arts and Sciences, Frankie Bauer. Courtney D. Gindale. Thomas Mac Granger is receiving his diploma from his mother, Dr. Jill Granger, Dean of the Honors College and Professor of Chemistry. Tracy Renee Groover. Ashlyn K. Landreth. Ryan Lee Oliver. Janie Elizabeth Stallings. Jared Michael Worley. From the Graduate School, College of Education and Allied Professions. 
Viola Arlene Branton, Michelle Denise Braswell, Marley Crump Byers, Caitlin Jean Cordova, Cheryl Ann Detroit Maison, Tracy Leanne Elliott, Carol Cherie Fair, Ginger Louise Foran, Ashlyn Holland Gibson, Brandy Sage Holland, Catherine Miller Hoots, Logan M. Gerald, Kaylee Marion Marino, Summer Dawn Matthews, Ingrid Carolyn Meyer, Brittany Nicole Knoll, Clifton Lamont Price, Patrika Shante Whitehead, Whitney Ashley Williams. From the Honors College, College of Arts and Sciences, Fiandra Demita Baldwin, Cullen Augustus Barathe Lane, Magna Cum Laude, Kristen Biana Eggles, Magna Cum Laude, Elizabeth Ann Ehlers, Cum Laude, Sierra Dawn Fortenberry, Cum Laude, Joseph Dale Fulp, Summa Cum Laude, Megan Elizabeth Gill, Summa Cum Laude, Katie Lee Goodman, Magna Cum Laude, Ashley Nicole Harvey, Magna Cum Laude, Ashley Marie Hull, Summa Cum Laude, Hannah Catherine Jones, Cum Laude, James Joseph Landolph, Jr., Ashley Ray Leyland, Cum Laude, Kayla Louise Molnar, Marcus Herndon Taylor, Summa Cum Laude, Liam Eric Turner, Magna Cum Laude, Xaviera Danielle Watkins, Cum Laude, Abigail Marie Williams, Summa Cum Laude. From the Honors College, College of Education and Allied Professions, Shallon M. Kappen, Magna Cum Laude, Madison Taylor Jordan, Summa Cum Laude, Kristen Ashley Tipton, Magna Cum Laude. From the Honors College, College of Fine and Performing Arts, Alicia Victoria Lipsky, Magna Cum Laude. Levi Stockton Miranda, Cum Laude. Zachary Aaron Shatley, Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Rebecca Taylor, Magna Cum Laude. From the College of Arts and Sciences. Peter John Acosta, Cum Laude. Caleb Landon Adams. Jordan Lynn Alvord. Jillian Elizabeth Anderson. Bethany Lyric Annis. Cody Brian Arms. Sarah Catherine Armstrong. Kelsey E. Austin. Kadiris Jordan Bailey. William Stewart Balmer. Jacqueline Michelle Bermudez. Ian Connor Berryman, Cum Laude. Abby Lynn Biggers. Ilana Sheree Blake. Cameron Christopher Blackyear. James Driver Blythe. Mallory Taylor Bolin. Joey Travis Borders, Summa Cum Laude. Samuel Giles Boysworth. Daphne Elizabeth Bradshaw. Jeremy Miller Brendel, Magna Cum Laude. Megan Brooke Briggs, Cum Laude. Matthias Michael Brown. Ariana Noel Bruno. Scott Exertist Bergen, Magna Cum Laude. Evan Michael Burks. Kelby Paul Caballero. Kaylee Elizabeth Campbell, Cum Laude. Jonah Neil Kaplinger. Brooks Renee Churn. Robert Earl Klontz, Cum Laude. Christy Barker Cotter, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Renee Cuvion. 
Emily Marie Covington, cum laude. Emily Craig Cox. Sean Robert Craig. Alexandra Rosellen Cruz, magna cum laude. Zindi Yenides Cruz. Roger Cody Dale. Mary Elizabeth Dixon. Troy Lamon Eccles. Philip Trey Fisher. Joseph Paul Flynn. Faith Ann Foster. Alexis Sue Frankeny, magna cum laude. Caitlin Elizabeth Friedman. Hannah Elizabeth Gleiser. Shania Letitia Glenn. William Noah Glosson. Regina Michelle Glover, magna cum laude. Lindsay Ann Good. Janice Tiana Graham. Scott B. Graves, cum laude. Zachary Thomas Green. Autumn Brooke Greenway. Kathleen Elizabeth Gunn. Darby Michelle Harriman. Courtney Ann Hartman. Aliyah Patrice Hastings. Anna Noel Hensley, cum laude. Shauna Nicole Hip, cum laude. Wilson Samuel Holshauser. Caroline Nicole Howell. Luisa Fernanda Hurtado. Kiera Shea Isom. Hillary Jane Jamison. Lucy Bell Jones. Montel Devin Jones. Chelsea Lynn Justice, magna cum laude. Hunter Matthew Carrop. Robert Stephen Kelly III. Savannah Mary Elizabeth Kicklider. Kristen Roberta King. Sandra Price Kirkland, magna cum laude. Tiffany Elise Kublank. Jacob Edward Culp, cum laude. Brett Tyler Ladry. Jesse Ray Lamb. David Jeremiah Langston. Chandler Lee Allen Laws. Shana Renee Leith, cum laude. W. Coleman Leopard. Rachel Kathleen Lewis Woodall, cum laude. Luke William Lofton. Matthew Jude Losh. Samantha Lynn Lovett. Allison Leanne Luckadoo, cum laude. Montega Jordan Lee Maddox. Stephen Joseph Matterin. Lucas McClellan Manus, cum laude. Aaron Christine Mang. Eugenia Margaret Mathis. Tristan B. McCannell, cum laude. Jason Edward Nathaniel McCollum. David Allen McCoy, magna cum laude. Kayla Ashley McIntyre. Brian Shea McNamara. Marshall Lewis McNeil. Catherine Milkey, magna cum laude. Avery Michaela Mintz, cum laude. Sydney Grace Moody, summa cum laude. Gabriela del Milagro Morales Parenechea, magna cum laude. Maria Teresa Morcom. Cassandra Nicole Mote.
Thomas Blake Murph, Eric Daniel Neal, magna cum laude, Austin David Page, Larry Ray Parker Jr., Jordan David Paris, Preston Luther Perry, Vanessa Elizabeth Perry, Tempe Savannah Plemons, Hannah Elizabeth Powers, Sean M. Price, Aaron Christopher Rackman, James Garrett Reedling, Amber Nicole Wrights, Cum Laude, Ryan Patterson Riley, Daisy Susanna Rodriguez, Dylan Christian Rose, Hunter Reed Sane, Hannah Cheyenne Setzer, Caitlin Elizabeth Sherlock, Magna Cum Laude, Nathan Eugene Schof, William Charles Shuford, Felipe Joshua Silva, Drew E. Simpson, Evan William Skeen, Miranda Taylor Skeens, Keeley Allison Smith, Lissa Michelle Smith, Madeline Elizabeth Smith, Marcus Scott Smith II, Steve Suthi Vararet, Alexa M. Souza, Samuel Black Sterrett, Alex Gerald Stovall, Jessica Caitlin Strickland, Tiana Iman Sudrath, Sean Brian Sullivan, Ava Brooke Thuline, Nadroy A. Toodle, Jeremy Michael Trish, Dustin Luke Vaden, Emma Lorraine Tynan, Magna Cum Laude, Mithli Vera Surla, Connor Waters, Joshua Cole Watson, Zachary Ray Weeks, Cum Laude, James Thomas Welch, Magna Cum Laude, Jordan Elizabeth West, Lindsay Nicole Westmoreland, Amber Nicole Williams, Faith Elizabeth Jane Williams, Rebecca Lynn Williams, Jessica Ann Marie Windsor, Hannah Scott Winslow, Cum Laude, Ashton James Woody, Emily Zia'iz Young, Weston Alexander Quick Yasaki, from the College of Education and Allied Professions, Catherine Elizabeth Abernathy, Maria Stephanie Belitska, Jennifer Megan Amos, Cum Laude, Kayla Dawn Ashley, Ashley Leanne Beck, Seth Joseph Blanton, Magna Cum Laude, Nick Botello Hernandez, Kayla Michelle Bowman, Jonathan Clark Brazil, Kendra Lindsay Brown, Trevor Chance Brown, Jesse Barnett Bunton, Cum Laude, Danya Noel Burdick, Cum Laude, Benjamin Douglas Cable, Cody Brooks Calvert, Gina Cantero, Summa Cum Laude, Carrie Joe Carter, Magna Cum Laude, 
Maribel Elizabeth Cartwright, Daniela Itzel Chanello, Christopher Michael Chastain, Taylor Noel Collins, Magna Cum Laude, Savannah Leanne Cox, Brittany Nicole Steele Crowley, Sierra Michaela Cutshaw, Caitlin Renee Davis, Vanessa Duran Ariviaga, Janai Sharice Gilliland, Cum Laude, Alyssa Loretta Green, Ashley Taylor Hale, Tavares Vashon Hardy, Gabrielle Nicole Henderson, Spencer Stephen Holcomb, Wes Edwin Holcomb, Brittany Michelle Holden, Corey Justin Holloway, Nikki Lynn Hopkins, Randy Marie Howard, Peyton Lord Howell, Tiffany Queen Irons, Magna Cum Laude, Cassie Nicole Carricker, Gracie Dawn Kelly, Cum Laude, Taylor Marie King, Cum Laude, Michael Jacob Lemax, Cum Laude, Christopher Marcus Lilly, Aaron Madison Lockhart, Brianna Leanne Looney, Cum Laude, Dylan McQueen, Dennis Lee Mask Jr., Cum Laude, Erica Denise Mason, Magna Cum Laude, Charlotte Ray Masters, Cum Laude, Cameron W. Maxwell, Phoenix Alexandria Moser, Magna Cum Laude, Veronica Marie Neufeld, Lauren Nicole O'Brien, John Kevin Pack Jr., Cum Laude, Tara Denise Raper, Summa Cum Laude, Catherine M. Rose, Mackenzie Ray Siegel, Bryn Kayla Shaver, Taylor Alexis Singleton, Caitlin Danielle Smith, Caleb Alexander Spry, Jennifer Oti Taphouse, Lauren E. Terrell, Brandon L. Tetter, Christopher Mark Texter, Magna Cum Laude, Anastasia Faye Sambaneri, Lauren Ashley Von Cannon, Christina M. Vuduris, Savannah Haley Watson, Sydney Lee White, Tyler Edward Wyke, Magna Cum Laude, Michaela Elizabeth Williams, Cum Laude, Ashley F. Wilson, Cum Laude, Brianna Lachey Winston, Sarah A. Wyatt, Allison Lin Yao, Michael Lee Yarborough. From the College of Fine and Performing Arts, Kelsey Ashling Bayan, Cum Laude, Molly Ann Bringhurst, Quell Kendry Bryant, Laura Caroline Casas, Kaylee Nicole Cuchilla, Cum Laude. Mason Lewis Dellinger, Abigail McVeigh Fisher, Cum Laude, Corey Brent Garman, Corey Anthony Hamlin, 
Taylor Sherelle Harris. Emily Catherine Huff, cum laude. Bree Danielle Jolly. Chase Bryson Marcus. Todd Martin is receiving his diploma from his mother, Dr. Lisa Bloom, J. M. Robinson, Distinguished Professor in Educational Technologies. Nicholas Scott Massey. Navy Ray Nysong. Starkim Hassan Allah Noble. Jessica Kathleen Ramsu. Maxwell Jarvis Reber. Holly Lynn Records. Reed Lee Simile. Leah Josephine Sitterson. Jonathan Andrew Smith. Kirsten Ann Smitherman. Elliot Martin Seuss. Aaron Taylor Vickery. Zachary Aaron Warner. Kristen Nicole Wasco. So as we wait for some folks to come back from having their photographs taken, I think we need to do a rousing Go Cats. So one, two, three. Go Cats. Fabulous. Thank you. I think we need some more noise from the audience here. Let's do a rounding Go Cats from them too. Okay, now our fabulous graduates, please rise. You may now move your tassel to the left to signify the earning of your degree. Congratulations. Okay, so now, graduates, you are now alumni of Western Carolina University, and I thus introduce Mr. Ed Holland, President of the Alumni Association, to greet you as new alumni of Western Carolina University. Well, good morning, Catamount family. Good morning, Catamount family. 
And my name is Ed Holland, and I'm the WCU Alumni Association President. It is truly my pleasure to congratulate you on your accomplishments today and to welcome you into the ranks of Western Carolina University alumni. I remind you today that you make a very meaningful transition. Up until now, it's been the university's role to fill you with knowledge, to give you the skills necessary to pursue your future. You leave here today with a new role as alum to represent WCU to your friends, family, employers, colleagues, and to all those who you come in contact with in the years ahead. You've made many memories here to last a lifetime, but I encourage you to not let this be the end of your catamount story. Stay connected and involved with WCU. Participate in alumni events and keep your network strong and make new connections. Take advantage of services that remain available to you through the Center of Career and Professional Development. Return to WCU to share your experiences with the future generations of Catamount graduates. Make WCU a philanthropic priority as your financial contributions can make the difference in the lives of students who follow in your footsteps. And most of all, remain connected to this place to, that is so special. And what makes it special is it's our community. Each year I find new inspiration in the faces of WCU graduates, and the future is bright for those of you in the class of 2018. I look forward to continuing to serve you as the Alumni Association President and hearing about all the wonderful things that you will do. Thank you. And at this time, I will turn the program back over to Interim Chancellor Morrison Shetler. Thanks. Before we conclude, let me acknowledge some special individuals who are part of our ceremony today. First, I salute all members of our graduating class who are veterans, active duty, guard, and reserve members. Western Carolina University takes great pride in being a military-friendly university, and we are so proud of you. Would those students please stand so we may express our appreciation for your service. Thank you. Next, let me recognize the families of our graduates. Graduates, please hold your enthusiasm until all have been recognized. So, will the parents or guardians of our graduates please stand? Will the spouses and children of our graduates please stand? Will the grandparents and other family members of our graduates please stand? And will the special friends of our graduates please stand? Now, it is my pleasure to invite the graduates to rise and show your appreciation. Thank you. You may be seated. This is the exercise part of the commencement. A ceremony like this does not just happen. Please join me in thanking Christy Ash, Claire Collins, Claire Napolitano, Lowe Davis, Melissa Wargo, Todd Lonning and Ramsey Center Director and his staff, University Registrar, Larry Hammer and his staff, Print Shop Manager, Tom Fraser and his staff, Zach Phillips and his IT staff, Mark Haskett and his photo and video staff, and the army of colleagues who had a part in making this ceremony a very special occasion for all of us. Please join me in thanking the, the, our leaders. <laughs> At the conclusion of this ceremony, we invite all graduates and their families and friends to briefly greet the faculty and deans from their college in the designated area and concourse. Please see the inside back of the cover of your program for the college locations. Thank you to all of you who have joined us today to share this momentous occasion in the life of our university. 
Now please rise as we sing the alma mater, led by Jessica McIntyre, and remain standing for the recessional. And following the recessional, the ceremony will be concluded. Again, congratulations, graduates. Go Cats!